Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question best time to buy and sell stock. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So we have to get maximum profit. So simply, uh, when we find a minimum price, we should buy the stock, right? So that's why it's a good idea to keep buy price. So buy price. And then um, initialize with first price, that is 7. And also we have to keep profit so far and uh, initialize with 0. So since we use a uh, um, first price, so we can start from index 1. And uh, let's say price. So we find a uh, 1 price. So current buy price is, I mean, previous uh, buy price is 7. And uh, current price is 1. So if current price is less than buy price, previous buy price, in that case, um, we should buy um, current uh, uh, stock, right? So that's why um, up to date uh, buy price is 1. And then um, let's calculate a profit. So current max profit is 0. And uh, profit this time. So yeah, um, we just up to date a buy price. So that's why uh, 1. So current price is 1 and the buy price is 1. So that's why our profit is 0, right? So in that case, um, we don't update a profit, still zero. And then move next. We find five. And uh, let's think about a buy price. So previous buy price is one, and uh, current price is five. So we should not buy this stock, right? Because a one is a smaller than five. And then let's think about a profit. So current profit is zero. And uh, this time, five price minus so buy price is one, right? So if we sell the stock, we will get a uh, uh, four price. So that is a max profit so far, right? So that's why update um, profit with four. So that means um, buy stock at day one and uh, sell stock uh, day two. So we will get a uh, four price. And then move next. So this is a day three. And uh, we find a three. And uh, let's think about the buy price. So previous buy price is 1, and the uh, current price is 3. So we should not buy the stock, right? So let's calculate the profit. And the uh, previous profit is 4. And uh, this time, so um, stock price is 3, and the buy price is 1. So if we sell the stock at day 3, we will get a uh, uh, 2 price, right? So 4 versus 2. So 4 is still uh, like a max profit. So we keep 4. And then move next. So this is a day four, zero, one, two, three, four. And the uh, price is six. And uh, so that's why we don't update our buy price, right? One is uh, still smaller than uh, six. And then uh, profit should be four um, until previous day. And uh, this time, um, six minus buy price is one. So five, right? So that's why we should update profit with five. So that means um, buy stock at day one and sell stock at day four so that we can get a uh, five profit. And then move next. So day five, so price is four. So buy price is one and uh, this time four. So we don't update the buy price. And then calculate a profit and the previous profit is five. And this time four minus one, that is three. So three is a smaller than five, right? So keep five as a max profit. And then move next. So there is no price, so finish. So all we have to do is just return five in this case. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a buy price. So, and initialize with first price. So index zero and uh, profit initialize with zero. And uh, let's iterate through one by one. So for price in prices, so we can start from index one. And then if buy price is uh, greater than current price, in that case, we should update the uh, buy price with current price so that we can get uh, like a minimum price. And then after that, calculate a profit equal max and uh, profit versus uh, current price minus buy profit not buy profit buy price 
and then after that return uh, profit yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n where n is a number of elements in the input array and the space complexity is O1. We don't use an extra data structure, just simple variables. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, please support me with your actions such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.